Perfect. Um, okay, so happy Monday, everyone. Uh, we're starting this uh, this meeting, um, and let's go through the Etherpad and let's first check the previous action items. Um, so we have here keep testing the mobile redesign, everybody, and report on the Etherpad. Uh, I think. Um, the mobile redesign that was especially for you, Kadir, and maybe Michelle. Um, did you get enough feedback for that? Yeah, we got some feedback. And actually, we fixed one very important uh, bug in the registration flow uh, that we didn't catch uh, in our user testing before uh, because it was so it didn't actually when you, you tested it, it didn't show up. Uh, but for normal users, it was pretty uh, a pretty big issue. Uh, people weren't able to actually log in to uh, post a question. That was pretty serious. Um, wow. That was fixed last week, uh, uh, thankfully. And, and thanks for Michelle uh, to pointing that out. Uh, right after she pointed that out, we were able to reproduce that bug um, and fixed it. Yeah. So thanks, everyone, awesome. that took the time. Yeah, um, Michael. Yeah, I have a, actually this question for Michelle. Oh, sorry, um, I'm not leaning this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, no, about the, um, I, I know I've reported this before on the Firefox OS phone, but I was checking, like you said, the ask a question flow and like signing in. And you know how there's there's like no way to really like make the keyboard go away except tapping like out of a thing. So when you're reporting your problem, the box is really big and then you have to like tap the little very edge so you can find the submit button. Yes. Um, do you know what they're going to do about the whole, like, keyboard needs seems to need a down, go away button? It, they did have one for a time, and it was really um, a problem. So mm -hmm. I, I think they know that we need one, but the first implementation didn't go well. And so I suspect we'll see another implementation that's better. Um, but not for That's version. not a great answer, but probably not for the first code drop. Uh, will we have a way to put the keyboard away like you normally would have, yeah. except to, to touch the screen? I, I agree it's kind of, it's difficult to do with the, in the ask a question flow because the entry field is so large that is when you try to touch away, you touch the box and then the keyboard comes back up. So, yep. Okay, um, so one question. Do you have enough feedback or is this something that we need to keep doing this week? Um, I think we should keep testing it um, this week. How do you feel, Kadir? I mean, I, I, I think we're it's still all very new. We need more testing on Android and um, stuff. There's still stuff, uh, I think, landing. There's still pages that are not redesigned that are right. in progress. Right, some of those that are uh, landing this uh, spring directory, or one of them is the, uh, for example, the edit, uh, the uh, profile page. So seeing and editing your own profile. We are still uh, landing little bits and pieces here and there uh, to complete the whole thing. Uh, we did, the first thing that we did was uh, making this usable for visitors, then making it usable for, uh, usable for users. Uh, who interact with the site, asking questions and stuff, and now we are making it uh, usable for contributors in a limited fashion. So we won't have uh, localization being done on a mobile anytime soon, but we are trying to uh, go as far as we can, especially with things that are also visible to users like the profile. Um, so yeah, this, this benefits from testing uh, a great lot, and especially from testing on, uh, device, on, on, on the Firefox OS uh, devices, so, Michael, I'm testing this on uh, on the emulator and on my other devices, and it just it's not the same experience. So, because the screen on my devices is rather large, I don't actually have a problem with uh, the text field covering anything. Uh, so, those are things I, I don't catch. Uh, so, the more people um, we have using uh, the new mobile site, the more we will actually also get uh, reports on this, and this, that, that will be incredibly useful before real users hit those same issues, ideally. OK, cool. So it seems to be, people, thanks for your feedback. This is uh, helping us a lot. I am actually very excited about the fact that once at one point, 
you know, we will have mobile devices uh, for contribution. It's going to be easier to contribute through a mobile device. So whenever you're waiting for the bus and it's boring, you can go to Signal and contribute a bit. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. But until then, we keep, you have to keep on testing. And I added the action item for next week. Um, and I also added that we should uh, we should also focus a little bit more on Firefox OS devices for the ones of you who have them and on Android devices for the ones of you who have them. So uh, we keep on doing that for next week. So if Thank there's you. yeah, if there's nothing else to add, um, I would like to ask Kadir um, if he can give uh, give a little update update on the CTR numbers and right. So uh, just to remind everyone uh, what this is about, uh, from October 15 on, we didn't get accurate uh, CTR numbers anymore because part of the infrastructure change that was providing us with that numbers. Um, so over the uh, holidays, uh, those numbers uh, were, the data was backfilled, and we could uh, re rerun our calculations for uh, uh, the time range that um, was giving us wrong numbers. That was from October 15th uh, until uh, last week. Uh, so I read it, I recalculated those numbers and backfilled them on the KPI dashboard. You can see the results. Um, I was already able to talk to Ricky a little bit about this. Uh, by the way, Ricky, if you're on the call, hi. Um, <laughs> and uh, there he is. Um, yeah, so uh, it's, it's interesting to see the real numbers. We can draw a number of conclusions from that. Uh, but the biggest, so, and, and we will, I will dig further into those numbers uh, so we can figure out how some of the changes that we made affected the CTR. What we already can say is that now that we have definite numbers for, um, uh, for this time period, we can compare this to the beginning of the year. And since the beginning of the year last year, so we made a number of uh, improvements to our search engine, we made quite, quite some uh, investment there. Uh, invested a lot of uh, a lot of time into our search engine because it was an integral part and it's still an integral part of our website. So what I can report already, and hopefully I can blog about this this week too, is that in 2012 uh, we improved uh, the CTR uh, by 15 percentage points minimum, uh, and that is uh, with wow. improving also the results themselves uh, for people who go through. So this is this is just winning on all fronts, basically, on all. Um, and it means uh, with just with the English numbers that, that we're tracking, uh, because we also have an English forum. Just with the English numbers, uh, we are helping an additional 1.6 million people per year to go to an article that they actually want to go to. Oh. <clears throat> so quite an improvement, uh, and I think it really paid off uh, doing all those uh, improvements to the search. Totally. That's awesome. Okay, that sounds really good. Um, anyone, any questions regarding the CTR? Yeah, Kadir, what was, so what was the result of the, we had this thing about the proximity search and the, like, how many results per page? Right. So you can look this up yourself if you want to. Um, uh, two things. First, uh, there were a number of different uh, results, and I wouldn't want to go into them necessarily in this meeting because uh, it, it involves, uh, I mean, it's a lot of data and a lot of different things to consider. So maybe it's a little too much for this meeting. I would like to talk about it in the KB meeting, though. Uh, what I did, uh, so you can see the uh, uh, data itself on the KPI dashboard, but you can't see what happened. Uh, so I compiled a list of uh, important dates, uh, and I'm putting this into... Um, uh, the Etherpad uh, um, below my uh, action item. So important dates. Uh, you can see there how uh, the changes that we made affected the KPI. You, ju you can just look at the KPI dashboard and look at the states and see the change. What you can see is um, uh, you can't drill down. And that's what I will be doing this week. Uh, for example, we would like to know why did it go up between the, uh, on the 17th. That was when we uh, introduced the new mobile site. Um, so was it because of the mobile site? We can look at that. Uh, and I will try to figure that out. And because it was quite a dramatic change, and we would like to figure out why did this happen, uh, to make more of it or like do more of that, of the same thing or similar stuff. Um, but essentially, yeah, that, that, is, that is, I guess, beyond the scope of this meeting here. 
Does that answer your question, though, Michael? Yeah. Awesome. Thank okay. you. Okay, good. Thanks, thanks, Kadir, for looking into it and, and providing us the information here. That's fantastic. So our next uh, uh, action item in the list is David to practice imitating Ibai. Um, uh, that was maybe uh, a private uh, item, but sorry, I dropped the ball on that one. It's it, it turned out to be more complicated than I thought. So I I will have to spend another week thinking about this. <laughs> okay, good. Well, actually, good. can we can we take it off the list? Can <laughs> 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 be more specific? Uh... <laughs> Because okay, I don't think great. I'll ever be able to do it. Okay, I might have uh, something for the next work week, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay, then I, I am taking it off the list. Um, <laughs> and uh, David Thanks. is al is that. allowed to uh, surprise us whenever he wants. Okay, perfect. Um, Just before like how I, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> that goes uh, for everyone else too, by the way. <laughs> Okay, uh, before we move on to the development updates, uh, I would like to say hello to Jay. Uh, Jay is now joining us on the call. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Hi. Uh, it's great Thanks to see you. Thanks for everyone. Nice yeah. Hello. It's great to see you Hi. here. Uh, and um, yeah, cool. Uh, for the rest of uh, you uh, contributors that are watching us, um, you're always welcome to come here. We love to see new faces and to listen to you live. You can also join us on IRC uh, if you're uh, streaming this. That also works. Uh, but yeah, it's great to see you here. Um, and, and also, so, just to, so people, may, this is obvious for us, but, but not for everyone, that there's a limit of how many people you can see at the same time. So you can only see nine people. I've never really figured out the logic, but I think if you say something, you kind of your priority is bumped up. So if you say some, if you don't, you know, the other thing is that you can't know what other people are seeing. So <laughs> it's a bit of a random thing. But but if you want to make sure that you're seen, then say something. So but yeah. otherwise, you know, feel free to also be in stealth mode. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, I forgot to say that. Thanks, David, for that update. Uh, so um, as I told you, uh, you're all welcome to come here, and we're very happy to have. You faces here and to have the voice of our contributors directly in this meeting. Um, so now moving on to the development updates. Who is going to take on this? Kadir, Ricky, Ricky, you don't have a beer today. Maybe you can. Um, I can talk a little bit. I mean, we're, it's basically the same as last week. Uh, we're working on local uh, localization of the support forums that, that change is actually done, but we need to work with IT to make a schema to change the database schema. And there may be some downtime with that. Uh, we're still figuring that out. I mean, downtime as in a few minutes of read-only mode or something like that. So we'll have to figure that out and work that, do it in, at the best time possible and whatever. What? Uh, what else? Mobile stuff still, and I'm working on the web trans to Google API stuff, which is a pain. Uh, but other than that, yeah. And of the 20, we are ready to search for risk. Ricky, I couldn't hear you well. Everyone is hearing, could hear Ricky well? No, you're, you're, you're cutting out. It's hard to hear unfortunately. you. Unfortunately. Sucks. Uh, better? Better? Yes. Better. Yeah. So where did, where, where did I cut off? Um, I, I was talking about the search results. So if you're on like a Fire, if you're on Firefox for Android um, landing page and you do a search from there, it'll filter um, automatically only results for mobile. Or if you're on the Firefox for desktop landing page and you do a search from there, it'll filter, um, you know, results that are related to desktop only. So so that should uh, help you know users find their answers easier when they search from those pages. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much what we've been working on. Uh, there's a lot of other small things here, but nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Kadir, you want to add anything? Uh, no, that was pretty comprehensive. Just one thing, the localized forums, there are uh, a number of uh, smaller things that we still need to do even after uh, the schema change uh, that we will probably get to in the second sprint. Um, but there will be significant time and uh, also announcements uh, about this before we actually go live with this. Uh, so there will be no surprises. That sounds pretty cool. Anyone, any comments, any questions on this? Okay, 
So I think that we can move to the round table. Um, and let's see what we have. I have on the very first place Firefox desktop, and I think Tyler's going to take that, right, Tyler? Yeah, so we released Firefox 18 last week. A um, little bit of a bumpy start. Um, one of the big issues we have is a uh, malware on Windows is causing Firefox to crash on startup. Um, there's nothing we can do in product to fix that. We've submitted the malware to most of the major antivirus vendors, though, so hopefully that'll resolve itself. Um, there's also some steps that users can do to fix that, and that's in the uh, forum thread there. Uh, we're also seeing some uh, crashes on Facebook. We've reported that to them, and they say they're working on that, so hopefully those will resolve themselves as well. And that's the same with Norton Confidential causing Firefox to crash. They say they should have a uh, fix pushed out for that this week. Um, so those are the big crashes we see. Uh, for any users on Mac 10.6, um, either 0 .0, 0 .1, or 0 .2, uh, they may be seeing some weirdness in Firefox where it tears the screen when you scroll. Uh, there's a test build of Firefox that uh, fixes that. Um, so users can either test that or they can update to 10.6.8, which fixes the issue as well. Um, Firefox 18 is throttled right now, and hopefully we will be having an 18.0.1 within the next week or so, uh, which will fix some proxy issues and some other general stability things we have with that. Um, but other than that, it's pretty uh, pretty stable, just third-party crashes. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jay, question? Uh, I, I thought that uh, there is a sync problem also. There is major problem with the sync. Firefox sync is major problem in the Firefox 18.0. I saw uh, I saw the big, uh, sorry daily. I will check the uh, support forum questions. But uh, when I see this saw last week, the the question has been increased more than 300. Uh, the by the by default, uh, support shoppings will be the maximum of 150. But nowadays uh, it is uh, it reached to 400. And then the percentage of uh, the answer question is only 88 percent to the 99. Oh, sorry, 90 percentage. But before that, before the before the team it has been more than 98 only. I'm sure about that. Uh, I think the most of the problem uh, it has been more than 17 pages. Yes, issues regarding only Firefox 18.4. Uh, Jay, thanks. Uh, I think that a couple of, of your sentences were a little uh, cut out. Uh, but Matt, Tyler, maybe you, you 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 could say something. I don't know if you can answer to that. Yeah, Jay, I think you had put a post in the um, contributor forums along this line this morning or yesterday. Um, but there are, we are seeing more Sumo threads um, just because of the release, and a lot of those are the crashes. Um, particularly the malware crash. Um, so there, I haven't seen a particular uptick, uptick in uh, sync issues, um, but the majority of the threads are crashes. And the reason that we have only 87% answered right now is just because there's been a lot more threads. Um, but I know Matt probably has a, a bit of input here. Yeah. Maybe. I was just going to say two things. Uh, so first is, if you are seeing an, an increase in sync issues, please uh, let us know. So if you could document that, um, you know, figure out how many new threads it is, send us some links to that. We would absolutely appreciate any help. You can be there. Um, it's great when, when people can help us spot issues before they really take off. Um, the other thing that I wanted to call out is, even though um, 18 has been a bit rocky, the majority of it is from third-party issues, right? Um, and actually, if we look at 18 and we pull out kind of these third-party things that we don't have as much control over it's actually much less crashy than uh, than our previous releases so once we can get these issues kind of under control it should be a pretty phenomenal release and with ion monkey it's it's definitely faster too so okay cool uh you uh, jay you want to add something and then tyler yeah sure uh the most of the problem is regarding the add-ons only i should know that when they are uh, when they are running in the safe mode Okay, everything is perfect because most of the problems, more than 75 percentage problem causing regarding the add-ons only. I'm not sure about uh, the who are all the answer to the reply to the threads. They have uh, they have mentioned that it has been running perfectly in the safe mode. I think to the run. So the add-ons compatibility and then some issues in the add-ons. That's it. 
Okay, that's that's great information. And and as as Matt said, uh, Jay, it's really cool that you're seeing this uh, kind of things. And uh, whenever you have this type of information, we're very glad to get it. And you can uh, directly approach Matt or Tyler or Cheng uh, with that. But thanks for bringing this up. Um, I think Tyler, you wanted to say something, and then Michael. Yep, no, definitely just wanted to echo what Matt said. Any any issues that you're seeing that um, you think might be affecting a lot of users or even a few issues, a few users, feel free to either put them in the um, 18 issues thread or directly message me, Matt Chang, um, on IRC or email. Um, and just to echo what Matt said, again, with the third-party crashes, they're accounting for about 25% of the crashes that we're seeing in 18 right now. Uh, so if we could get rid of those crashes, we're actually at about a 20% lower crash rate than we were with 17. So that's a good good step in the uh, positive direction. Okay, great. Uh, cool. So, uh, Michael, you want to add something there? Tyler said it. We okay, perfect. Uh, so, okay, Jay, thanks for bringing this up. Um, and uh, as we said, we're, we should put it on the forums. Um, to further discuss it, but it's a great point, and uh, you know, also it's good that we start a you know like point to the right people when when it comes to this uh, type of thing. So um, you know, in this case, Tyler and Matt, but that's great. Thanks for for sharing us, sharing with us. Um, if there's nothing else, Firefox deck desktop, I will then move to Firefox Android. Hello. Uh, Hello. Oh, Roland has only like three minutes, so he's going to be very efficient. I will do Thunderbird first. Thunderbird is fine. 17.02 Thunderbird uh, security release was released last week. I am collating the uh, issues. I don't see any, but there may be. I don't think so. But uh, I linked a wiki page where you can add things, and that's Thunderbird. And um, Firefox or Android, we do not have any major issues in forum. Uh, Tyler and I are, are scrambling to get the input. Uh, we're having a little problem with input, but we'll get there. Uh, hopefully today or later this week. Right, Tyler? <laughs> yep. And just, just to tag along, um, there's an issue with drop-down menus in Firefox 18 on oh, Android. Oh, right, the share menu. Um, which will be fixed in 18.0.1, and I believe there's going to be a couple stability ride-alongs as well. Right. Um, and that'll come out the with desktop. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Uh, Jay, Thank I'm you. seeing your hand. Yeah. Uh, the the drop down menu issue, issue is in nightly also, Firefox nightly also, the same issue in Firefox nightly also. Uh, yesterday I filed a bug regarding that one. Okay. Oh okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, you can you can uh, give it to uh, Roland um uh, yeah, CC and then... me and the, any bugs. Perfect. That would be Yeah, sure. Wonderful. I'll do that one. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Jay. You're you're keeping your your eyes open. That's that's wonderful. Um, so next, as I see that we're already done with Thunderbird, would be Firefox OS. Michelle. Hi. Yeah. Um, so the update is well, we had a help article day last Thursday, and so I just wanted to recognize everyone who participated, and maybe you you may have participated more than two weeks ago, um, adding edits to the KB, and I just got to reviewing them last week. But um, I put the list in the etherpad of the contributors, uh, Ideato, Udup, Alice Wyman, Gia Lopopora, Scooby Diver, Tonis, Madarche, Swarnava, Setev, Loki, Sadeis, Kevish Misha, sorry, Kifti and Einer. Thanks everyone for contributing to the English knowledge base. You guys are awesome. Um, I love to see all your um, writing on the KB and your help with improving the articles, markup, graphics, um, instructions, and we're going to keep doing it. Firefox OS um, is we're about finished, engineering's about finished with the version one code base. So that will mean that we're going to go full force into documentation now that the code's done, pretty much done, and start documenting anything that we think will be issue, issues. If there's any problems that need fixing. So if you need help getting the emulator set up, um, there's a great add-on for emulating Firefox OS on your Firefox desktop which will make it easy for you to help with documentation. So just ping me and Luna, or any one of us can help you get set up with an emulator to help with documentation. We'll have another help article day uh, next Thursday. 
Cool. That, that sounds great. Uh, so everyone that uh, was involved, thanks a lot. This is really, really helpful. And thanks, Michelle, for, for, for organizing this uh, document days and, and for uh, updating us on who, who is actually helping, making a big difference here. Sure, so, and for all of your faces that I see in my window, to be thinking <laughs> of what you'll do for documentation next week. All right. Okay, so I would I would I would add that as a as a action item, uh, participate on the document uh, day, right? Yes. Yes. No guilty. Okay, everyone. Okay. It's perfect. working then. <laughs> it is working, Michelle. Good job. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, Michelle's just coming here to give us all job, you know, more work to do. The evil stare. <laughs> The evil smile. Yeah, that's the right. thing. That's the that's the the odd thing about it. <laughs> uh, with so yeah, cackle. if you see Michelle right, on the call, you know, <laughs> you know, works waiting for you. Anyway, thanks, uh, Michelle. We already had Thunderbird. Uh, if there's any questions or, uh, about that, uh, if not, I would pass the ball to Kadir with metrics. Uh, yes, yeah, so I already gave my update on the CTR. Uh, that was the one that I wanted to mention here. Um, other than that, you already can see uh, from the KPI dashboard that the number of questions went up 30%, uh, which is uh, kind of to be expected during a release. Well, it went and way it went way over the normal increase for a release. It's like the highest it's been since we knocked down the number of questions. But I think. Like Tyler said, right. it's all those crashes, those third-party crashes. Right. Uh, actually, we used to have a 30% increase before, uh, and not anymore since the repertory cycle, now that you mentioned it, yes. So one thing you have to bear in mind is that this release cycle was a lot faster because we switched to CDN, so more people are getting updates faster than they were before. Um, and so it's a little bit harder to compare numbers between this release and previous ones. Um, so just keep that in mind. OK, that's good to know. That's a terrific one. Cheng, thanks. OK, anything else, Kadir, that we should pay attention to? Or would you say that everything else is more or less along the usual lines? Right now, I don't have any other updates on metrics. Um, oh. I will have some soon. But, yeah. OK. Cool, thanks, thanks for that. Uh, on localization, uh, we're working Firefox uh, 19, the, the release cycle is starting soon. Starting soon. Um, but right now there isn't. Right now there isn't uh, uh, ooh, ooh. Andrew, I think Andrew, you just joined. I think you just joined. Could you meet your That's correct. Thank you, thank you. We had some ego there. Great to see you. We haven't come to the part where you, you, you step in, so don't worry, you're just on time. So on localization, uh, we're doing our, 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 our work as always. Uh, things are doing well there. There's not, not much of an update this week. That's why I will pass the ball to Michael on the knowledge base. Um, there's not a lot other than, other than what we said last week about the um, uh, technical writing group. Um, we, uh, I will be starting We'll be doing some researching Firefox 19 updates. We'll have to do this actually pretty quick and get into actually making those updates pretty pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, if I can say something, I, I just wanted to say that um, you know, for everyone that's maybe listening, we have right now four participants in the technical writing program. So you might see new faces in the KB. Uh, so get ready and you know, welcome our contributors. Um, and yeah, let's you know, let's get working with them and. Um, to the Firefox 19. Sorry, Michael, please go on if you have that. That's it. Oh, I added some new articles. People, you may have seen them under the hot topics for those issues that Tyler was talking, the malware issue and Java blocked across the world. Um, big thing. So if you have Java, it's blocked. Uh, anyway, just new articles. Oh. Also, localizers will probably have seen those by now. That have popped up on dashboards. Okay, cool. 
thanks for the update. Um, so I actually I jumped over the community updates, but uh, it's pretty good. Uh, if, you, if you go back, you can see Andrew uh, has joined us on the call. And I just wanted to announce that Andrew, we had the Sumo Kids Tumblr page uh, where we wanted to post, you know, who's been helping and, you know, have a space for doing fun stuff and maybe having memes. Um, so we tried for a long time, Andrew and I, that so that I could make him an admin, and it turns out that you know uh, we, we just have to have like a central admin, and then we can pass you know the information if we need to. Uh, but now uh, Andrew's gonna uh, take over the Tumblr, and he's gonna be the the admin, right, Andrew? And uh, yeah, maybe you want to say something about it, you know, uh, you know that that people can contact you right now, um, or how you know, maybe you know what you have in mind, maybe, Andrew. Uh, those that are interested can contact me and so we can get forward and we can get more people working towards it and so we can have more fun and everybody can contribute to it. Yeah, that, that sounds great. So thanks for taking over that. Um, I know that there's a couple of people. Yeah, I don't know if we can change the theme on Tumblr. I, I'm not a Tumblr um, uh, person. But yeah, if anyone just wants to help and, you know, send memes or whatever, uh, Andrew's the new admin and, you know, he's the person to go and uh, he just, he done a great job. He copied the names from last week from the, I think from the support forum. Uh, we have now the names that Michelle listed from the, um, article day. Um, so we can start posting that kind of things there, Andrew. So thanks a lot for, you know, for, you know, keeping there and, you know, like it took, it took us a long time. Uh, but I'm very happy to see you stepping up and, and filling this new, this new role. So thanks and everyone, uh, don't forget to check your Tumblr uh, every once in a while and get some fun updates from the Sumo Kids. Yay for fun. Yay. <laughs> All right, rock on, Andrew. It's awesome. Yeah, cool. Um, so if there's any comments on that, otherwise, I think the support forum part is right now empty. Um, Madalena is unfortunately uh, not feeling well today. Um, but I'm sure that if there's anything urgent, she will go to the forums and, uh, you know, contact everyone. Otherwise, we, we, we want to see her next week here with us. Um, hey, great job, yeah, everyone, uh, helping over the weekend. We did have a big spike. So uh, thanks for continued help on the forum with our releases. Yeah. So yeah, again, I, I think that we, we're doing very well with our, uh, you know, everyone's answering very fast and, you know, like users are getting a lot of help. So that's really cool. Um, so thanks everyone. Um, so before we go to the decisions and act action items, is there anything else that people maybe forgot to put in the round table? Any comments, anything you wanna, you wanna say right now? Otherwise we'll move forward to the decision and action items. Okay, so I think we move on. Um, what I have listed right now is keep testing the mobile redesign. Uh, that's again for everyone. Um, so thanks for the ones who have been doing it already. Uh, we, we, need, we need some more help on the Firefox OS, on Firefox OS and Android devices. So if you have one of those, just grab it and help us with that. And uh, we have the Etherpad where you can put your uh, feedback. And uh, we're going to have the uh, document day. But Michelle, um, I think that that's going to be next week, right? Not this week. Right. OK, so it's not exactly Thinking this of week. what you'll document, yeah. Right. Uh, but next week, we're going to have it there. And uh, yeah, the, our to-do is that we all participate there. And, and, and we, we put a lot of energy there. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing anything, any decisions, any other uh, to-do points that I haven't listed here. Okay, sounds like we are pretty much done. So uh, I want to thank everyone uh, for taking the time for this meeting. Uh, and thanks a lot, you know, Jay, Andrew, uh, Matt person. I think there was another contributor that joined the, the call, uh, but um, I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for, for participating. It's great to see you here and see you next Monday. Hey. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Rosanna. Bye. Yeah, bye. Have you. fun, guys. Bye.